When you have an image that's too big for the place you want to stamp it, do you just give up and use a different one? If so, you'll want to keep watching to learn how to crop a stamp. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another technique video for card makers and paper crafters. The Birthday Bloom stamp set from Stampin' Up! is a lovely floral image, but it's quite large if you use the entire stamp. I wanted to use it on a corner fold card, which doesn't have room for the whole thing, so I had to get crafty. If you want to learn how to make a corner fold card, just use the link provided to see that video. I've made a set of corners out of cardstock, which allows me to see the stamp image cut down to different sizes and positioning on the size cardstock I'm going to use. This allows me to do all the cropping before I stamp the image rather than afterwards and then trying to cut it down to size. This ends up being less work and I don't waste cardstock trying to get the cuts right. To make your cropping tool, start with a square piece of white or off-white cardstock. This piece is about 8 by 8. I put the right edge along the one inch mark to the right of my cutting guide. Then I will start the cut at the bottom and move it all the way up to where the pointer meets the one inch mark. Then I turn the cardstock 90 degrees, line it up on the one inch mark again. This time I'll start at the top and cut down to where it meets the first cut. Now I'll do the same process again to make my second corner. So here are my two corners and now I can show you how I use them. For the corner fold card the artwork is 2 and 5 8 inch square. I've cut a piece of cardstock that size and I'm going to position the corners of my crop tool so they just fit around the cardstock. Then I'll take some temporary adhesive like Dotto and I will adhere those two pieces together so when I move them the space in the middle stays the same size. Now I can take my crop tool that's been adhered into the size I want and I can place it on the image and move it around until I find a position that I like. I want to use the Dear Friend stamp from this set and put it up in this corner. So that means that I'm going to need to mask part of this stamp so that these parts won't get inked here. And I've already put the sentiment on a stamp image image sheet and that helps me see how much room I'm going to need for it. You can learn how to mask a stamp by using the link provided for that video. And you can see I've also put this on much more of a diagonal than the stamp originally sits. Part of the reason I did that was to leave more room for the sentiment, but also the diagonal line of the flower complements the corner fold. Now when I'm satisfied with this position, I'll take some tape to hold my cropping tool in place so I can refer to it when I go to stamp my image. I've stamped the floral image on an image sheet and I position it using my cropped image as a reference to get it in pretty much that same position. Now I put the stamp image handle in place while I ink my stamp. And you can see that I used some tape to mask it, so I'm going to pull that off, otherwise I'll have an ugly smudge on my work. Now I can remove the image sheet, put the block against the corner of the handle, and press straight down. And there it is. So if you need to see a video on how to use the stamp of magic, I'll provide a link for that as well. And now when I put the dear friend up there, you can see I have plenty of room for it. So that's how to crop a stamp. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. 
For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.